everybody and welcome back to another video on the military and surplus channel. Today we'll be taking a look at my first American mask in my possession, the M9A1 respirator. For today's video we'll be a sort of unboxing in a way. It does annoy me that I will open this today as these are getting rarer and rarer to be sealed but I would like to show you guys the full contents and myself of the mask and its kit. So let's get to the video. The American M9A1 respirator was made in 1947 and stayed in American service until the early 1960s, pretty much early and midway through the Vietnam War. This mask would be replaced by the M17 cheek filter mask. As you all know, cheek filter masks are very bad. So even though the mask was officially phased out of the US Army in the 1960s and 70s, the mask was still used by like law enforcement and civilians and industry for a little bit longer so the tin my mask came in is unfortunately a bit beaten up as you can see with the big dent here this was because the seller for some stupid reason didn't decide to put uh, any packaging around it like bubble wrap or what's it called the plastic pockets of air around it so unfortunately it is damaged which i'm quite annoyed about but we can't all get nice things in life. So the markings on the tin, as you can see, say Mask Protective Field N9A1. This is quite weird as it doesn't... This is a quite a weird name. Wait, sorry. My script's going very funny again. So as it said Mask Field Protect... Mask Protective Field. I reckon this was... No, I'm sure that this was used. I mean, guaranteed to be used in combat like direct combat front lines field but what is quite odd about this they don't like they don't call it normally normal as other masks do like they don't call it a protective mask an air purifying respirator or a gas mask it's just called a protective field ma a protect mask protective field which is very different indeed the tin also says that my specific mask is a medium as you can see by this marking here face piece size M and you can also see that it's for a right-handed shooter this is because it says position of canister stem left which means the, the actual filter will be on the left so the right the right-handed shooter can aim down sights properly so I'll just undo this as you can see I've already slightly undone it a bit because I wanted the classic hiss that these masks generally give off but the thing would have just been located on top of here and as you can see it's like the corn beef like corned beef type tin type unlock things so I'll just unlock this now fully undo it like I've said already this is quite annoying that I want what well, I'm opening it because th th these are getting rarer and rarer like to find fully sealed and this was 35 pounds so Quite expensive. This is going to be quite hard to show on camera, but there seems to be a bit of an annoying bit here, and it doesn't want to undo anymore. Oh, we've got it going again. As you can see, still undoing it. <laughs> While I'm doing this, I will say this is quite a task that is annoying, and it hurts your hands as well. I've changed to my left hand. Now back to the right. Oh, sorry about that. Hitting the camera. Oh, it's getting quite stiff. So we're nearly done now. Oh. Sorry, I'm just struggling a bit because it's very hard indeed. Alright, what I'm going to have to do is leave it like that. But I'm going to have to open the lid like this. So it just rips it. Then undo it this way. This is very sharp. The ridges, as you can probably guess, with it being like this sort of opening. Alright, so just pull this off now. So this is the bit. This is the seam that I'll go all the way around. On this little like corkscrew type thing. 
put this to the side, move this, then this is the lid. I believe this is a resold one as there's German markings and words on here. As you can see, Deutschland, that means German. Germany, in German if you didn't know. I'll just pan the camera up here. So, this is the mask, it comes in this card, papery cardboard substance, uh, package, so let's take this out now. If you want to know what the inside of the tin looks like, very clean, goldy colour. So, I'll put the lid in this for now, and I'll just put this over to the side over here. What I'm trying not to cut myself would be quite nice. So, I am unfortunately going to have to break these staples off, which is probably going to be easier said than done. Oh, no, I'm wanting to do it now. I want to do it. Ah, there we go. This isn't really going as planned, but oh well. So, as you can see, this whole thing just like slides off. <sighs> Sorry, I just need to try this a little bit harder because this isn't working very well. Right, so this is better. So, we'll just trick this inside of here for now. But it also says mask protective field on here and the bag had a marking somewhere where is it here saying all this a union bag don't know what that means if anyone would like to tell me in the comments I would greatly appreciate that so this is the carrier it comes in it's like a standard greeny browny colour canvas material and it opens with I'm not too sure these poppers I think here oh yeah sorry if I don't know how to undo this is my first time ever unboxing one of these type of masks oh yeah just undoes like this with these poppers then these are belt loops or webbing loops I believe and there's the carrier oh no this is the strap system here the two clips are just attached together like that not gonna do it because frankly can't be bothered <laughs> oh no this is the waist strap here actually because that clips on there and there should be another strap here yeah here which this would do around the waist i'm pretty sure because one goes around the leg and one goes around the waist so as you can see in here the mask oh i'm very sorry about that <laughs> i'm not used to this setup as i generally have it quite different but the mask doesn't want to be coming out, which... Oh, so we do have this here. It's the anti-dimming cloth, so I believe. Let's get this out. I'm not going to do this, but it's just standard anti... Oh, it's already undone by the looks of it. Oh, lovely. Still got moisture in it. Lovely, I've just made all my hands disgusting. But that's the anti-dimming stuff. I'll just move the paper over here. That's the anti-dimming stuff. Uh, so now I need to figure out how to get the mask out without knocking the camera over or destroying it. Oh, here we are. So here is the mask. This is a bit, like, folded here, but that doesn't matter at the minute. So as you can tell, this mask is like a greeny coloured, and I believe it's made out of butyl rubber put this here and there's also nothing else in this carrier as far as I'm aware at the minute just nothing there it does say US M9A1 there again so I'll put this at the back for now so sorry sorry I can't get my words out this time so the face piece is made of butyl rubber I believe and it also comes in black but I, no one knows how many of them were actually made in black and they are quite rare to come across apparently. So I'm just undoing these straps now. This one does like this. And there is a face form in here actually. So we're just gonna get this filter out first, which is probably not going to be the most easiest task. Oh, that just comes out then. 
I'm not too sure about how to get this filter out actually. Oh, might have it now. I, I'm keep, I keep hitting the camera, I'm very sorry about that. It's like affecting it. But as you can see, it's a 60 millimeter filter. It's the classic crimp thing here. What every bog standard 60 millimeter filter looks like, pretty much. And under here is the layer, the paper filter. I don't know if this is a harmful filter. I've been told it's completely fine, but then I've also been told it contains chromium or asbestos. I personally don't want to risk it. Because, well, life is much more important than gas masks. But, yeah. So, here is the face form. It's just made of like, a cardboard material. And just keeps the shape of the mask. As you can see here, quite a durable material. So here's the mask itself. As you can already see, it's got a very comically big nose. And the lens is a crimped on. It also says US, then M. The US obviously stands for United States. And the M is for medium. So I'll just show you what the mask looks like with the filter. I'll pan down here. So again, this is the filter cap that's coming off. And I'll just screw this onto here. So that's the mask here. Put that to the side for a minute. So the eyepieces are quite large, as you can see, an insect looking. But they do provide a decent field of view. And there are also optical inserts made for the mask that just clip into it. I'm not too sure on whereabouts they actually go in the mask. It's going to be very hard to show. But as you can actually see, there is an oral nasal cup, which is good. So I can't really find where the inserts go, which is quite annoying. But I would like to show you, but I can't. As, as you all know, the optical inserts are used for glasses wearers like myself. And they basically just keep keep an airtight seal around it so glasses can be worn with it and not uh, compromise the seal with the actual mask itself so the bag is a standard greeny browny canvas I believe this is water repellent to an extent which is quite good in my opinion and has the markings up there US I'm not sure what this symbol is here I believe that's just the army symbol then there's the field protective mask M9A1, all that there. So that's that. The carrier is very durable. Like I've said before, it probably would be very good for combat use. Which is good, hence it's probably named protective field. So it can be used in the field by troops. Again, I'm going to repeat, I don't know the entire the entirety of the safety of this filter. I, I wouldn't trust it personally, because I've heard people say it's completely fine. But then I've heard other people say it contains chromium or asbestos, which I don't really want to expose myself to. But as you can see here, it says all this. Since it's American, I believe that's the 5th of March, 1953. But if this is 1953, that's a very good condition mask for that time. So that's that part the filter of course is a 60 millimeter screw thread making the mask instantly obsolete unless you buy a uh, what's it called 60 to 40 millimeter adapter for filters also comes with a cap and a plug make sure it's airtight i believe all the masks come with a anti-dimming cloth thing also came issued with an atropine injector i believe for nerve agents and so on but if you don't know what the job of anti-dimming slash anti-fogging things are, basically it stops the lenses from fogging up. Just the instructions on here, when to use it. So everybody, that was my video on the American M9A1 respirator. We'll go over the kit again, the face piece. Oh, just to mention before the end of the video, I have heard stories where these masks have literally just been a pile of goop with eyepieces and the exhale valves sitting on top of them so I would be careful of that if ever purchasing one of these masks the filter the face form 
the pouch, the anti-dimming cloth, uh, sorry I'm just trying to turn the camera here, the tin, the paper bag it comes in and that's it. So everybody this was my video on the US M9A1 respirator. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stick around for the next video. Cheerio!